Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to talk about the top four needed utilities and uh, one thing that you should do as soon as you get the Surface Go. Uh, we're also going to go through how to get out of S mode. So the first thing that you need if you're using the Surface Go, the first thing you should do is drop the display scaling. Uh, by default, it's set to 150. And with the screen being smaller and lower resolution than a lot of devices that we're used to, not all the programs that we use on a regular basis, like Photoshop, will scale correctly if this is set to 150. I recommend 125. Uh, that being said and done, you're going to notice that a lot of things are going to fit better on the screen. Obviously, they're going to be more difficult to touch and tap the buttons here. So number one, the first thing that you need on the new Surface Go is this little program called Touch Zoom Desktop. So Touch Zoom Desktop allows you to zoom in anywhere on any program and make selections and work while zoomed in. Now if you're reading text or you're trying to uh, make some adjustments or work inside of the menus or navigation inside of programs, this can be really, really helpful. Now that's not something we actually wanted to do there, but as you can see, it's very, very smooth. It looks beautiful and you can interact with every element here on the screen with Touch Zoom Desktop. Number two, if you're using anything that uses keyboard shortcuts, you're going to want to have the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. Now that's going to allow you to put custom keyboard shortcuts on the side of the screen that can do almost anything that you want uh, a keyboard shortcut to do. So for instance, in Photoshop, if we wanted to increase the size of the brush, we can do that easily. Uh, or use the color picker to choose a new color. Um, using this, you can see up here, displaying the specific keyboard shortcuts that we're pressing. And you can see that they can be very complicated shortcuts and I can do all sorts of different things here, like adding a layer uh, or doing a copy and paste of those different layers. All right, so let's undo that and close that window and scale that brush size down. All right, and we're on the eraser tool because I pressed a bunch of buttons. All right, so that's number two, the Artist Pad from Tablet Pro. The third tool that I think that you guys need is uh, it's called KeyPress OSD. And what it does is, uh, especially when you have everything scaled down so things fit, uh, and uh, this is a great tool for people who have vision impairment, which is actually why it was created. So uh, let's say that you are typing on the touch keyboard. I usually use two hands, but it's a little hard to do in the video. All right, and And what you're typing is hidden. The nice thing about uh, Microsoft Word is if you're down here and you're typing something and you start typing it, it'll bring it up above the keyboard. Most programs don't do that. So there's a lot of different times where just having something that displays up here what you're typing. And this follows the caret, so that um, means that you're going to be able to edit 
what's down here accurately by what's displayed up there. So this is a really good way to um, get past, uh, we used to have in Tablet Pro a transparent keyboard function, which a lot of people liked for this specific reason. So you can use the big keyboard and you don't have to worry about whether or not things are covered because you're just dis you're displaying um, with key press uh, what you're typing somewhere where you can see it easily. Uh, one of the other things that I really like about it is that it does um, text expansion. And I've been working with uh, the creator of KeyPress. Uh, his name is Marius. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, uh, this is something that we worked a lot on adding because I think it's an absolute necessity for anyone who's using a tablet without a keyboard. Even with a keyboard, it's a really big time saver. So I recommend it. It's, uh, it's text expansion. So let's see. Uh, most of us know this. ASAP, as soon as possible on my way. Okay, so let's say we want that to do what it does on the iPhone or other devices. So on my way. All right, control shift backslash. Now we're gonna do OMW, hit enter, escape. Now let's type that again, on my way. And expands out. So if you're doing uh, emails like I, I have to use my email on a lot of different things. I have it expand out um, WTP on my phone expands out to dot tablet pro dot com. Okay, so let's say I'd like to make that WTP at entry escape. So let's do that again. WTP. And again, this, for a lot of people who do uh, a lot of emails or a lot of different uh, repetitive typing tasks, this is, this is a huge time saver. And you can do this with a massive paragraph. Um, it doesn't have to just be a short string. And I have found that, that um, when I use uh, auto-replace and text expansion properly, so I, I, I answered a lot of emails at night, and... Um, and I know this at night that I do a, a much worse job of explaining things. I leave out important details. And when I use text expansion, it allows me to write quality answers that make sense when I'm not tired and use those when I am tired so that I can do uh, a faster turnaround time and better quality control when I'm responding to Tablet Pro users. So this is KeyPress OSD. They have a whole bunch of different functions uh, in KeyPress, and uh, I think there's something that you guys will enjoy. All right, you guys, that's number three. So the fourth item is the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. So uh, we've done a lot of updating on this. It's still in beta. Uh, it's still being misidentified as a virus. So uh, installing it is a little tricky. If you guys want to install it, you have to go into Windows Defender and uh, choose, uh, what is it? Virus protection, threat history. Um, look at the, the history and then you're gonna approve the one that comes from or misidentified as uh, the pen tool. Uh, or you can just wait and we're gonna have it in the store. We're trying to get it in the Windows store sometime soon. Okay, so Alt or hover right click or you can choose input mode and input in with the keyboard all right, so real quickly, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, this is ZBrush, and I have the poly count at two million uh, because uh, that was a question in another comment or another video. So you can see here how this works. And let's move this over here, do shift. So you get an idea of how this behaves. All right, and that drops the poly cap back down. All right, so the pen tool, again, uh, can be installed and found by uh, subscribing on the Tablet Pro, on the Tablet Pro uh, website. And uh, you'll get a link in the email that, that gives you 
uh, community assets, access to the community assets, and that is where the pen tool is currently at in this beta stage. All right, so that is number four, the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. Oh, and that works with the Wacom Bamboo Ink Pen, the two-button stylus that works with Surface devices. You'd have to, um, on that stylus, you actually press the two buttons at the same time for four seconds. A little blue light flashes right here, and then it switches protocols to work with Surface devices. All right, so if you just got your Surface Go and uh, this is what you're waiting for, how do you get out of S mode? Well, it's not too hard because as soon as you try and install a program that uh, is not from the Windows Store, like me trying to install the Tablet Pro software, uh, you're going to get a message that says that you can't install this uh, program, and I'll, I'll pull up the uh, video of that. Uh, you're going to go to Download and Updates, and you need to make sure that the Windows Store, which is going to be way down this giant list right here, the Windows Store, the app that is the app itself, um, you need to make sure this is updated. So what normally will happen is you'll get a list of about 30 different updates, and the Windows Store will be somewhere way down the list. On the side here, there's going to be an option to update now. And that will allow you to update the store first so you can get started with other stuff while it does that in the background. In order to get the Surface Go out of Windows S mode to install other apps, you're gonna to need to update the Microsoft Store app. So the Store after it's updated will give you this option to switch out of S mode. So if you try to run a program and choose here, see how it's going to open up this window over here if you have the Windows Store app updated. I'm going to click Get. And Install. Not entirely sure, by the way, this shows you that you can install any app, and that is the main difference between S mode and the regular Windows 10. The switch out of S mode actually only took uh, about a minute. It was very, very fast. All right, you guys, that is my top five things that I think you need to do first when you get the Surface Go. I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, obviously, yes, I get paid for the software that our company makes. Uh, I'm not sure why that disclaimer is necessary, but it's there. All right, and... Um, and I did work with uh, Marius, and Marius and I both get paid when you guys purchase Keypress OSD, which I think is a fantastic program that does a lot of things that I uh, worked specifically with Marius to solve together for tablet users that I care about. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video useful. Share it, and uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. So I wanted to do something special uh, for you guys. Uh, the Artist Pad, TouchSoon Desktop, the Pen Tool uh, are all part of the Tablet Pro uh, full package. And so I wanted to give a discount for uh, $17.99 for all of those tools. Uh, that discount is a uh, sale for five days. And so hopefully you guys will take advantage of that. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, Keypress is $15 and uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, until next time, stay creative.